Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be painting some thrifted vases that I got this week. If you watched my last video, you already know that I went to different Goodwills and I found different pieces that I really, really liked and I decided to kind of remodel them, paint them, kind of with the um, recent vibe that everyone is going with. It's all over TikTok, um, people showing you how to um, paint vases on and so forth so I decided to create that myself um, in my last video I did show you guys when I found each of the items and I took you guys with me to thrift for them so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I painted them and made them into something more unique to me so I decided to paint the vases and to making them look like clay or like ceramic so if you're interested in seeing how I did that um, just keep on watching okay guys so for this project I'm going to be using this paint I got this uh, Walmart I believe the price of these were like 57 cents if I am not correct i'm going to fix it over here on the side and include it for you guys but i got different shades i mainly got like bone color um egg lime white and beige and i do have more white paint over here so in case i need that i'm going to be mixing it with that i did see online that if you add baking soda you will create more of a texture so that is really what i'm going for and i bought this box of baking soda this is more paint just in case i need it because the vase i'm going to do is really big um and then overall you just need a paintbrush and a little container i forgot to pass by the dollar store and buy a bigger one so i'm going to be mixing little by little in here because i don't want to ruin anything that I can use later. Okay, so I didn't see this over here on the side at first, so I attempted to just rip this open, but I realized you can just pour it like this, so that's what, that's what I'm going to do. All right, that might have been a lot, but I'm going to attempt to mix it in. Yeah, that's definitely a lot. Let me just add more paint. I think that's still a lot if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's looking nice. You guys can see the texture in it. So it's not just a little acrylic paint anymore. And I like the color. I am going to mix a little of beige real quick. Okay, this is my first swatch. Let's see how it looks. Okay, love that. I just think it's a little too yellow. Let me add more beige. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this instead of downward. I'm going to do it sideways like this. I'm going to do it vertically. So it looks more of an actual painted pot. Price tag. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more brown to the paint. Just literally a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I like that better. I love how this is coming along, but while this one dries up, I'm going to go ahead and start on the next vase because I want to let them dry and then keep giving them like a second coat. I did go ahead and give each of them a second coat. The bigger one, I think I gave it like a third coat if I'm not mistaken, but I only recorded 
two of them and i love 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 how they came out you guys look at the texture look at the texture of the vase and see the trick to do it sideways it literally makes it look like an original um clay pot if you guys know what i mean it's really nice i'm going to go ahead and move on to this next um vase is going to be a little weird to work with it because i start putting in this color and then i end up changing it because it literally doesn't look good i don't know if it's like all the brown that i put into this or the brown that i use has a lot of red in it so um it looks more purple and i just really didn't like how that looked Yeah, as you guys can see here, it was coming out like not even lavender. It was like a beige purple color. It's like a light mauve. I just really didn't like this. And it just has a lot of gray going on. It wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I literally tried to mix so many colors with this. Like even black just to make it darker or something. And it still didn't work. So I, I'm just letting it dry. And I'm going to go back in it and just try to rework the whole color. Because that is not what I like. Now, you guys, this little vase right here, I really liked the green color that it brought because it was really interesting. But you guys, this color that I chose for it is amazing. It looks so pretty. I love the details that uh, it came out with, like those little dots. It's so pretty. I love it. Now, you guys, this is looking horrible. I'm literally struggling so hard with it. I'm trying so many colors and it's literally not going to look good until after I let it dry and I start from scratch with like a black and gray and white color. And it literally turns out to be one of the most creative ones. Like I didn't even think to do this and it just came out, you know? This right now, it's looking whack. Like ew i know there's a lot of people that will be like oh my god that looks nice i would like that for my house but if you guys can see it literally screams purple and i didn't want that in my house that's not the vibe i'm going with but i'm going to go ahead and while that dries i'm going to give a second coat to my other vases because you can still see some of the original paint of it and i don't want that to happen so i'm going to start with the big one again and then i'm going to work my way down to the other ones so just to make sure they're really dried so heads up, you want to be aware that if you paint the other ones that are not going to be the same color right near these, you might sprinkle a little bit of paint over the um, vases and you don't want that to happen if you're literally on your last coat. I literally saved myself, I keep saying literally, but yeah, YOLO, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, so I was too close to these faces and I kind of got the black paint on them, so you don't want to do that by mistake on your last coat so just make sure that you put them to dry somewhere else i learned the hard way but at least i wasn't on my last coat and another thing is that you want to make sure you're not wearing any clothes that you don't want to ruin because i don't know if you're going to be way messier than me and get it on your clothes and also jewelry so your rings and stuff like that i left it on because i was i knew that i wasn't going to be that messy with it but just beware just in case but yeah guys, this is how I decided to paint this little vase. I fell in love with it. It's so creative. I love it. Um, if you guys don't want to do it the way that I did it, just literally take white, black, and gray. Um, and just take the brush with the three colors and just start going around it. Instead of just going line by line like I did. I don't know. Maybe it's easier. But try it. Try it. And let me know if it works. All right, so this is the result of the vases. I left them dry overnight, and this is how they're looking. I'm going to show you guys one by one. This is the first one. This one right here, it's so pretty. I love that I put a lot of baking soda in this one, so it looks very textury. I love how much texture this one came out with. You guys can see like the little um, bubbles that it has, so on and so forth. I really like how it looks and the lines on it. It looks very clayish, if you wanna, if you know what I mean. 
one of my favorites i really really like how this one came out because of the lines in it and the design that it already brought and i really like how it looked with this color it's the only one i did in this color but i think i did a different color for each of them so i really like how this one came out the next one is one of my favorites because i got really creative i'm gonna say is this one right here i did go ahead and kind of just did i don't even know what to call this because i literally just out of nowhere i just started like adding white and gray and black and it just came out like this and i really really like it um it's just different and i cannot wait to just put it around the house and decorate this and show you guys how it looks and last but not least this is the big ball you guys already know um i'm very very excited to just put my pampas grass inside of this ball and just ball why am I calling it a ball? Inside of this vase um, and just place it around the house. I didn't know that I it was going to come out this beige, but I really, really like how it came out because my walls are already a little um, like cream. So I didn't want it to be this color. Let me show you guys. I didn't want it to be this color because it was going to blend in with my walls a lot. So I'm pretty satisfied with this beige color that i came up with as you guys can see in the video i really just mix a couple of paints and i just liked this one like kind of a pinkish undertone and i just went with that one but yeah this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications if you liked it it will let me know that you like videos like this and i'll be coming out with more and you won't miss it so i'll see you guys later thank you Mwah.